the format of being robot. It's been a while since I wrote something about Channel 24. It's pretty hard to believe that it's been 8 months since I have talked about this unknown TV channel. But recently, a new video appeared on the Channel 24 YouTube account, and their profile picture and banner updated as well to fit the style of the current episode, and it seems that it looks anonymous to somewhere in the 80s. Ever since that event that happened back in October of 2004, I gulped, but I clicked on it to see what was up. The video starts with this Channel 24 logo animation, and underneath the word Channel 24, there was more text, and it read, Sacramento, Canada. So, it was in a town about 10 miles away. Well, very surprising. Sarcasm. As stated in the video, this takes place on July 23, 1984. So basically, somewhere in the midsection of the 1980s. At 1 AM, there was going to be daily news coverage. 3 AM was obviously going to be a horror movie marathon, and at 7 AM there was to be paid programming, while we had a new original show called, Sacramento Apocalypse, airing at 8 AM. A transition animation is shown, and a motto is shown underneath, which was, The Unbeatable Network. It wasn't too long until the station was hijacked either, because sooner or later the motto changed and the text turned red and was in all caps, and read, We've always been here. It stayed on a blank screen for a little bit, and then an emergency broadcast aired, and a local area emergency was set out for Sacramento, while a crude voice was narrating over the intercom. Sacramento is under attack. This is not a test. The voice only looped twice, and the second time the narration was jittery near the end, and a color bar screen appeared for only a split second before disappearing. Then it cut to breaking news and showed a house burning while the text, numerous fires reported across Sacramento, was seen at the bottom. It was then cut to a red screen and more subliminal messages appeared across the screen. Sacramento isn't under attack. It's just having some renovations. We're taking care of the trash. And that other person is someone you know very well. It is. Just like the event that happened back in 2004, the feed was cut off before the name of this person was to be revealed. Channel 24 then issued an apology about the hijack that just went down and that they are running investigations. We are very sorry for the interruptions to our programming. Our signal experienced an intrusion by a currently unknown third party, and we apologize for the false breaking news alert and subliminal messaging that was shown. There is no fire and Sacramento is not, we repeat, not under attack. We are currently running an investigation and programming will be on a hold until this issue is resolved and the perpetrators are brought into justice by the police and other law enforcement agencies. Thank you for your patience. Programming will resume in a few minutes. Sooner or later, the station was once again hijacked by a third party claiming to be the actual WGLATD. It had a crude logo at the bottom and special lineup flashed on the screen before taking us to the lineup schedule. The schedule was both weird and terrifying. The only times present were 666, 888, and 892. Basically, this special lineup just consisted of stuff relating to hell, Jesus, and Satan, and quite possibly talking about how Satan doesn't exist again. The screen cut to static a few seconds later and then cut to a blank screen for a few seconds. And then red text appeared on a light blue background. Actually there was three of them, and each message got their own 7 second time slot before the next one showed up. The truth hurts. There is no such entity known as Satan, the only one who exists is Jesus himself. Jesus controls heaven and hell, and all of you want to sit there and believe these blatant lies this channel is telling you. You deserve to know the truth. WGLA is telling you blatant unforgivable lies and silencing anyone who wants to tell the truth. You all are being brainwashed, it's time you woke up and actually believed us. Satan is non-existing, and Jesus is the only one you people should be focusing on. We will be back, and next time, we will make WGLA pay. Hence the date, October 7, 2004. When that date strikes, we will put an end to WGLA and any other corporation that supports them.
Channel 24 is a lie factory, and you all are being sucked into this never-ending hellhole. Go ahead and start your broadcasts again WGLA, but be warned, we will be back. The fuck? That is the exact date when Channel 24 was taken over. Is that a fucking coincidence, or did they plan this attack from the start? Well, I am not so sure. Either this was planned from the start, or they could have fucking time traveled to send this message. Anyway, after those messages, the screen cut to static. It then went back to black, and this time, Channel 24 was making no plans to return for the night, let alone for the rest of the week, and that they are running investigations. We are very sorry, but due to numerous hijacks and subliminal messaging, we are unable to continue with our normal broadcast schedule, and we will be off the air for the rest of the week. We are trying to take strong precautions to prevent attacks like this again, and an investigation of the attackers who were the fake WGLA are also taking place at this time. We apologize sincerely for having to end our broadcasting abruptly, and we will try our best to prevent further attacks from these unknown third parties. We will resume normal broadcasting procedures in a week and programming will be back to normal. We are truly sorry for everything that's happened. We hope to see you in a week. It stayed on for an extended period of time, and then finally disappeared over 20 to 40 seconds later, and the screen cut to black, and remained black for the rest of the video's duration, and WGLATD went off the airwaves for the rest of the week. I will continue updating you with new info as this channel keeps providing new content.